So good evening, friends. Meeting again in the session of Materia Medica and a discussion on basically the injury remedies. We, are, we have started with different injury remedies, started with the Arnica and we have changed different, different remedies and we are learning different injury remedies along with the rheumatic remedies at the same time. And yesterday we have discussed very important remedy, Ruta. But unfortunately, the recording was not happened and that's why it was not uploaded up to the whole session was not uploaded over there. So we'll learn that remedy again later from the Borix Water America and we'll learn the aspects of Ruta later on. And that will be uploaded on YouTube. Today we're going to learn one of the important remedy again very close to the Ruta and very important in our day-to-day -day practice. In fact, in acute practice as well as chronic practice, this is the wonderful remedy which we have to learn in today's session called as a Bryony Alba. Here again, I will not going to share directly a case because instead of wasting time on that cases, I will, wherever the things uh, comes, I will attach them with the cases so that I will learn every aspect of the remedy and logic behind applying that, those things which are mentioned over there. So we're going to discuss the bryony alba. Common name, everyone knows that it is white bryony or wild hop. It is a remedy from Cucurbitaceae family. We'll start with Allen's. We'll open the Allen's and we'll start reading sentences and then we'll understand what is the, the bryonia. So basically, when we learn the bryonia, the first important entity which comes over here, which is which was the sentence even when we learned the Ledampal, we have compared it with the Colchicum. Here again, the same sentence is there. It is best adapted to persons of gouty and rheumatic diathesis. But this is half part of the sentence. Remaining half part differentiates bryonia from Colchicum, from the Ledum. So what is the remaining part? Prone to so-called bilious attacks. This is the difference. Bryonia is related with the bilious attacks. When we learned the Ledum pulp, the first sentence was same. The part of it is different. In Ledampal, there was a part of the sentence was that adapted to dramatic and gouty diathesis, constitutions abused by an alcohol. See, difference in application. This is what is the state. The cause and effects which are different and that's why one remedy gets differentiated from another remedy. Second important thing which if we compare it with the colchicum, colchicum the one sentence is same. Adapted to the rheumatic and gouty constitution. And what, in, what he says in Kalchikov, it is the very important persons of robust, vigorous constitutions, diseases of the old people. See, here the remedy differentiates. Bryony is the remedy where bilious attacks play a very important role because it has action on the liver. It has action on the lungs. It has action on the liver producing bilious attacks. It has very specific action on serous membrane. And that's why the first sentence from the Borix Matra is Matra Medica is acts on all serous membranes and the viscera they contain. So viscera, which is covered with the serous membranes, the lungs, the liver, the abdominal organs, wherever the serous serous membranes comes together. Wherever serous membranes comes together. Just a minute. We'll change the microphone. Yes. Wherever the serous membranes comes closer together, then definitely bryonia plays a very vital role. Bryonia produces that inflammation, that discharges from the serous tissue. And that's why effusion is one of the important things which happens over there in the bryonia. So bryonia is the remedy one has to understand from this aspect. This is too important. So, first sentence from the Borix Matra Medica and first sentence from the Allen's keynotes both play a very vital role. Bryonia patients are irritable. Yes, very sensitive, very irritable, disturbed hours to be. They want to be alone. They don't want to get disturbed. Very irritable on trifles. Inclined to vehement. What is vehement? Vehement means utkatta. Having lot of passion, lot of strong feelings. That is what is a vehemence. 
inclined to be vehement and angry. So they, they immediately react. Someone teases them, they immediately react. They don't want to get disturbed. See the constitution. Dark and black hair. Dark constitution, black hair, dark complexion, firm muscular fibers. Dry, underlying dry. Dryness is at the mental level as well as physical level. Because they want to be alone. They don't want to get disturbed. That is very typical with the bryonia. That's why it is also called as a dryonia. Nervous, sensitive. Nervous means on the tip of their nerves. Reacts instantaneously. Slender people like Naxvamika. Slender. Then they are not fat, fair, flabby. They are slender. All slender personalities are always nervous personalities. That's why Naxvamika is also close to it. Naxvamika is also close to it. Chamumila is also close to it. Sina is also close to it. All these are irritable remedies because they are on their tip of nerves. They react instantaneously. This is the nervousness. This is nervous reaction which happens to be there. Brian are like that. And see the constitution. They are dark complexion, dark hair with a firm muscular fiber. Their muscle fibers are good enough. Now the pains. Wherever the pains are there. See the beauty of Ellen's keynotes. When he mentions pains, they are generalized pains. Whether they are related with the head, they are related with the chest, they are related with the pleura, they are related with the viscera, they are related with the abdomen or appendix. Anywhere, the, what characteristic of pain is there where we can differentiate one remedy from the another remedy? So if a patient of appendicitis comes to you with a severe stitching pain, keeping pressing his hand over there, and he doesn't want to change that position. If you ask him to lie down, he says, Doctor, can you, don't you examine me over here? I cannot change. See, he is expressing the bryonia because that's teaching pain. Better by pressure, better by complete um, rest, aggravated by slightest motion, change of position, bryonia. So, pains where he explains the pains, pains applicable anywhere. Not to the specific part. So pains, stitching, toxilla circle, stitching pains, tearing, fatla circle, worse at night, aggravated at night. That is one important modality, aggravated by motion given in bold. And that is true, important, characteristic modality. Of aggravated by inspiration. Inspiration is again a movement. And second important thing is that it is the remedy where the pleura gets affected. The serous membranes are there. Serous tissues are there. And that's why pleural effusion, pleural stitches, it is one of the important remedy. Cupping, again motion, aggravates the pain. So these are all things which are aggravation factors. Amelioration by absolute rest. When the patient lies down comfortably without change of position, patient feels better. These people, whenever headache is there, they get they keep everything covered completely and they never move from the position. That is bryonia. They don't want to get disturbed. Someone comes, what is what has happened? They get irritated. Bryonia. This is what you have to catch for, for bryonia. Second important thing which he mentions over there, ameliorated by absolute rest and lying on painful side. This modality here, it is compared with the two more remedies. One remedy is Telia. In Telia, it is a liver pathology basically. Telia is a remedy where liver is affected and patient feels better by lying on right side and aggravated by lying on opposite side. It is the modalities are very close to bryonia, and that's why um, it is difficult to differentiate. But basically, in case of bryonia, the stitching pen differentiates it from the tilia, where there is a aching type of pain present over there. Second important thing, bryonia gets aggravated by slightest motion, which is strong characteristic in bryonia, which is not there in tilia. Another remedy close to it, is, he has mentioned, is pulsatilla, but pulsatilla is absolutely thirstless. Bryonia is very thirsty. And exactly opposite modalities are there in Kali Carbonicum, where the stitching pen is characteristic.
Brian is teaching pen. Kalika is having teaching pen. Brian gets ameliorated by lying on right side. Kalika is aggravated by lying on right side. Brian is aggra aggravated by lying on opposite left side. Kalika is better by lying on left side. So, so modalities are absolutely opposite to each other in Kalika. So pathology is very close, but Brian is subacute in action. Subacute inflammation is covered with bryonia, pulsatilla. These are the remedies where subacute inflammation, where serous membranes exudes, exudate comes out, fluid, effusion. So effusion in the joints, effusion inside the pleura, effusion in the peritoneum, all those things, wherever the effusion comes, it is serous effusion. The remedy is bryonia. Think if the modalities matches, if the sensation matches. So pulsatilla and bryonia, they are very close to each other with second stage of inflammation. Another Kali Miraticum from biochemic is close to it, where also a second stage of inflammation comes. So we have to think according to the pathology and then we can, uh, we become a very good clinic, clinical homeopaths. Excessive dryness of mucous membranes of entire body and that you can find it out. If a patient comes to you with a lot of cupping and you see the lips are absolutely dry, the face is dry, first thought should come whether it is brain. And one, another thing which you can observe, patient do this thing. This is common. This is common. Within two, three times he do this because it happens. Because the dryness happens to be there. Marked dryness were there. This is important of the bryonia. And it, when it happens, you think over it, you observe that. This is my observation. When the, there is a cold season, winter stops and summer starts, that is the period where bryonia patients are much more. That is the season of a bryonia, where that typical dryness around the mouth you can observe and patient craves water and they crave water in large quantity. Typical bryonia features are there. Excessive dryness of mucous membranes of entire body, lips and tongue, dry, parched, cracked, stools dry as if burnt. Cup is dry, hard, racking with scanty expectoration. So patient cups a lot and he's having severe pain in chest and there is a lot of problem. And that is very difficult. Dry cuff, nothing comes out, but he want, he feels that it, it is full of blood, but it is not there. Urine is dark and scanty. So expectation is scanty, urine is scanty, discharges are scanty, the dryness is marked with great thirst. And what type of thirst? Thirst for large quantities of water and long intervals. So if you ask the patient to, patient asks you a water for, and he you give him one glass, then he again asks, you give him another glass. Sometimes he asks one more. That is big, big quantity is required at a time. That is very typical with Brian. Vicarious menstruation. Vicarious word, uh, word is very important. Vicarious means in place of. So vicarious menstruation, that means it is not from vagina. Instead of that, it takes place from the nose. Nose bleed when menses should appear. It is not the bleeding from the vagina. It comes out from the nose like phosphorus. Blood splitting, blood is splitting and hemoptysis. Pneumonitis is quite common with bryony and that's why hemoptysis is one of the important things which can get you can get over there in bryony. Elements from chagrin. Chagrin, what exactly it means? It is anger which is developed because of mortification. Santa, manastab, that is very typical in Marathi we can call it. That is chagrin, mortification. Apman, Mankandana, elements from anger. See, the Colosynth and Staphysagria, these are king. Staphysagria is the king. Staphysagria, where that is suppressed anger. It never reflects. If Brahine, it comes out. When Staphysagria, it is suppressed. Even Colosynth, it is little bit suppressed. But in Brahine, it comes out. Elements from violence with chilliness and coldness. See, elements from violence with chilliness and coldness. So there is violence and followed by chilliness and coldness. Elements after anger, 
chilly, but head is hot and face is red. So head is hot, face is red, and rest of the body becomes chilly after an anger. These things which we have done, that's why keep a hand, always see the habit, make a habit of taking the skull, the palms, the extremities, you put just check it with your back of the hand. This this gives you exactly the things. Aram is another remedy which he mentions over there. Then complaints. See, these are complaints related to every part. That's why he has mentioned here complaints. So elements from, elements from applicable to all organs, not to a particular system. Pains applicable to whole, all organs. So these are the these are the things which you can write down while writing down the full question. If Brian is the remedy, ask for 20 marks. You can explain under every aid all those features. What are complaints? Complaints when warm weather sets in after the cold days. That's what I have told you. Just same thing. So whenever the summer starts appearing, this is the remedy which plays very vital role. Complaints from cold drinks or ice in hot weather. This is second important thing. Complaints from cold drinks. Patient has consumed cold drinks specifically in summer. Patient will going to suffer from it. That is a bryony. Complaints after taking cold or getting hot in summer. Both things, taking the cold in summer or getting hot in summer, both aggravates in bryonia. The headache is most characteristic teaching type of headache which you, you get over there. Complaints from chilling when overheated. Patient is already com comes from the hot um, uh, summer weather. He enters inside room and he starts AC. If there are old people in your house, they ask you don't Open, don't start the AC or don't sit under the fan because they know the homeopathy. They are rather, in fact, more intelligent than you. They know that it affects. And once it affects, it is bryonia. From chilling when overheated, complaints keeps the covers off. He never keeps the covers on him. Complaints from exposure to draft of cold wind like aconite and heparsal. This is this is very close. Dry cold weather and patient gets aggravated. This is wonderful remedy like aconite and heparsal. Heparsal chill is rather different. Hepar is it is in absolutely cold weather when that winter shivering winter is there and patient gets affected. It is hepar. Complaints from suppressed discharges of a menses, milk, or eruptions of acute exanthema. So these see, these are again very important things. Wherever discharges get some suppressed and a new complaint comes out, bryonia one should not forget. Basically, when it is related with second stage of inflammation, if joint complaints develops after suppressed there are discharges, suppressed eruption. So think of the bryonia over there. One of the chief characteristics of bryonia is aggravation from any motion and corresponding relief from absolute rest, either mental or physical. See, it is given in very specifically bold. And when things are given in bold, they always have a lot of meaning. That is the thing of the bryonia. This modality is applicable to each and every system, each and every organ, whatever it may be, whether it is the headache, whether it is a respiratory complaint, whether they are GI complaint, whether they are rheumatic complaint, this modality comes closer. These are things immediately after which, which are not to be had and which when offered are refused, like Sina, like Chamomila. This is common thing which happens with Brian and the children. They always refuse this. Children dislikes to be carried or raised. This is opposite to the Sina. They never say, this is opposite to the Chamomila. They never like to take, to raised. That is very difficult because they get a little bit vertigo as well as fear when they are carried. And that's why that carrying they never likes. Delirium, yes. Well, this is one of the important things. During the fever, when patient goes into the delirious states, 
Prine is one important remedy. Baptisia is another remedy. Delirious states are quite common. What delirium? He always talks about the business during delirium. That is very important. Talks constantly about his business. He doesn't understand what he is talking. He is talking about his business. Desire to get out of the bed and go to the home. That is another feature. Patient is in fever and he feels that he is outside and he wants to go home. Even though he is at home. This is the delirious state of bryonia, very close to the ectia racemosa as well as the hyosamus. This similar delirious state which is present over there, they want to go to the home. Constant motion of left arm, left leg. Aposinum, heleborus. Heleborus, it is one arm, one leg. I have treated one case of craniopharyngioma and that patient, I have observed this typical feature that he was sitting in front of me and craniopharyngioma patient who is not having absolutely lost his vision during that, uh, during his problem because of his tumor which was there involving the base of the brain and totally 100% vision was lost. His eyes were closed and he was sitting like this and there was continuous <coughs> this thing. This was going on. This was very characteristically going on. This was not bryony in that case. It was heleborus in that case. And that heleborus worked in him fantastically, brought him out. Brought him completely out of that situation. So bryony, I have treated very early in my practice, first year of my practice in 1992-93. to One of the patients who was suffering from the rheumatic, rheumatism from Nandur Khandarma, he came to me having a rheumatism. And um, he suffered from severe joint pains. The modalities were there. Uh, but I have first prescription never worked. So I asked him whether it is possible to get admitted for a day. And he was admitted when I was practicing in my father's hospital. He was admitted for a day. I was just observing him. And when he was admitted, I saw this movement of bryonia in that patient. He was continuously moving only left arm, left leg. After every 5-10 minutes, he used to move that. And that was the characteristic which I catched. And I have prescribed bryonia. Next day, the pain started decreasing. And he recovered within first 10 days. There are no more admission required after a day. So this is, this is very important. This thing which you have to observe. Patient cannot sit up from nausea and faintness. So much nausea and faintness. If he starts sitting, he gets a faintness. And this is characteristic. Vertigo when rising from the bed. So it is positional vertigo, which is common with the bryonia. It is closely related with the postural hypotension, which you can get with the bryonia alba. Great thirst for large quantities at long intervals, which already we have discussed. The headache. Headache is characteristic. When stooping, so bending forward, headache is there. Think of Brian. It is generally frontal bone, which is characteristic. As if brain would burst through the forehead. See that much. As if head, brain would come out. Headache from ironing. See that getting heated. The headache is there. Sepia. Headache on cuffing. So patient cups, doctor, it is very difficult to cup. I am having very severe headache. It gets aggravated. Headache in morning after rising. It starts right from the morning. Or when opening the eyes. You, as soon as you open the eyes, headache starts. Commencing in the morning, gradually increasing until the evening from, from constipation. Associated with constipation. Patient never passes stools. That is typical with the bryony. Hard constipation, very typical. Stools as it burned, that is very typical with the bryony or constipation. It is because of dryness of the rectum which happens to be there. So, this feature, same feature, headache from constipation, you can get it in aloes, in colinsonia, in opium. Opium, it is absolute constipation. Obstinate constipation is there. Colinsonia is the remedy where there are rectal features, the burning pain, the stitching pains, which are sticks, as if some sticks are there. It is typical in colinsonia. Aloes, 
it is a diarrhea dysentery is there associated or alternating with the constipation both things are present pressure as from stone at the pit of stomach relieved by irritation severe pain in the pit of stomach and relieved by irritation patient feels better by irritation nakshomi can pulsate see this remedy i have used whenever patient complains of severe headache associated with the severe pain in upper abdomen and that pain is that when you start examining the patient the abdomen is become abdomen is rigid and patient becomes rigid it show it never allows patient never allows to examine properly and patient has vomiting along with that bryony is important remedy if you observe the typical dryness over there constipation inactive no inclination constipation inactive no inclination stools are large hard dark dry as if burnt on going to a ce platina remedy platina is very close to constipation when at sea constipation when uh, goes outside or during traveling that is platina bryony is also having a constipation here the stools characteristic is very important they are dry hard large as if burnt diarrhea so see the constipation is also there sometimes diarrhea is also there diarrhea during a spell of hot weather so podophyllum another remedy close to it but podophyllum it is a painless diarrhea here it is not so diarrhea during spell of hot weather bilious acrid with soreness of anus like a dirty water so diarrhea like a dirty water diarrhea of undigestible food particles called as lyenteria like epsi um, uh, first remedy abrotenum diarrhea from cold drinks when overheated so during summer weather if you take a cold drinks and a diarrhea happens this is the bryony alba then from diarrhea from fruits sauerkraut so sour fruits sauerkraut is a fruit which is sour in taste and because of which if diarrhea happens diarrhea aggravated in the morning on moving even a hand or foot so slightest movements affect the diarrhea or it has been produced it aggravates the condition the bryony is the remedy most important feature next which is again given in bold mammy heavy of a stony hardness like conae maculatum it is very heavy breast specifically before menses pale but hard hot and painful must support the breast like phytolacca decandra conae maculatum this hardness is very typical with the bryonia congested which is called as a congested breast cuff the bryonia cuff is characteristic dry spasmodic with gagging and vomiting so dry cough gagging as if obstructed something inside cannot take um cannot take a breath vomit associated with vomiting patient tries to vomit it out because he feels that better by he might feel better by throwing expectoration out like kali carbonicum cough which teaches in the side of chest so that is pleura pleural affections cup with headache as if head would fly into pieces that much severe cup is there as if head would burst cup aggravated after eating so whenever con patient consumes anything immediately cup starts aggravated cup aggravated by drinking entering a warm room and deep inspiration deep inspiration is pleural affections so deep breath and patient starts coughing typical of bryonia that is movement also affected as well as pleural affections affects or stimulates the cough relationship very important complementary is alumina and restox restox is acute alumina is defecting remedy bryonia is subacute bryonia has the action 7 to 21 days it, it that's why it covers second stage of inflammation where it suits typically similar to belladonna and hepar for hasty speech and hasty drinking very close belladonna and hepar both are both of them are very close but hepar is too chilly remedy bryony is comparatively hot remedy
to raninculus in pleuritic and rheumatic pains of the chest. Yes, raninculus bulbosus, you can get that typical chest, rheumatic, chest rheumatism. Typical stitching pain is there, but it is basically more because of rheumatic complaints in raninculus bulbosus, also because of the respiratory complaints. But modalities are very typical with the bryonia aggression by slightest movement, better by um, complete rest. That and stitching type of pain differentiates raninculus bulbosus. Tilly, already I have discussed a remedy prepared from the white ash, uh, having specific action on stomach and liver, aching heaviness in hepatic region, better by lying on right side, very close to bryonia. Greatly aggravated by lying on the left side, turning to the left causes a dragging sensation that is very typically present in tilia. Then after bryonia, alumina, kali carbonicum, naxvamica, phosphorus, rustox, sulfur, these are remedies which follows well the bryon. And you see the modalities. There are many times you get the opposite modalities with these those remedies. Aggravation. General aggravation of the remedy, aggravated by motion, three marks, exertion. Then touch, cannot sit up. Touch because it disturbs the patient. Cannot sit up, gets faint or sick or both. That is because of rise. Because of rising, patient gets a typical postural hypotension. Aggravated by warmth and warm food. Warm food, that is not food. It is food, warm food. Aggravation from suppressed discharges or discharges of any kind. Suppressed discharges of any kind leading to an aggravation. And last thing which explains over there is the amelioration of the remedy. Amelioration by lying, especially on painful side like tilia and pulsatella. Underline this modality. Patient is having right side pneumonitis and patient lies on right side bryonia. Confirm. Amelioration by pressure, amelioration by rest, amelioration by cold, amelioration by eating cold things. So this is the remedy which is generally hot remedy. So how will you, how will you think about the bryonia when patient enters to you? How, how you will think about the bryonia? Bryonia is the patient who comes to you and he sits in one place and never wants to get disturbed. Whether the rheumatic complaints are there, whether liver complaints are there, whether appendicitis is there, whether the uh, lung complaints are there, the position he never wants to change. He gets aggravated. If you try to touch him, he never likes. He never wants to get disturbed. That is very typical. He always wants a peace, absolute rest, no disturbance, no change. And that is bryonia associated with the complete dryness of the system. Emotional dryness is also there. They never reacts uh, with they never wants to react because they, they get disturbed because of it. They, they are not so emotional, and that is the bryonia state. So bryonia is a very important remedy in rheumatic state, specifically subacute rheumatism, wherever and one case I want to share with you. There are four minutes. It was a wonderful case which I have treated with Bryonia. My very close friend, uh, he used to come to me off and on whenever he has an acute trouble. One day he came and there was a, he said, he complained that doctor, I'm having the pain in right knee. And since yesterday, I got wet over there. And uh, since morning, I'm having that. I never checked him. Being, being a friend, sometimes we overlook the patient. So I said, this, I have given the rest talks and take this and it will settle. After gap of day, he comes and he said, doctor, it is too painful now. I'm not, not at all felt better. So I said, just lie down. And when he, he lied on the um, uh, clinical examination table and I saw his knee, it was effused. Right knee was full of effusion. That effusion where patellar tap is positive, you fix the patella with one hand and just press it. And when it sinks over there, then patellar tap is positive. It indicates the joint is inflamed and effusion is there. Whenever effusion is there, think about the remedy which has the serous discharges over there. Because it is serous membrane which secretes a discharge over there and because of which this effusion happens. So 
morality was matching he was not able to move and slightest movement was ag aggravating his trouble and there was a fear i give gave him bryonia now and after bryonia within a day whole swelling disappeared next day evening he came again and he said absolutely better feeling too good 10% complaint is remaining and within two days it, it disappeared so this is this is bryonia no 30 no tenem no 30 because one thing keep it in your mind 30 will not going to penetrate to the bones if you want it bony level 1m 10m yes very important potency which works instantaneously if you go 30 it might aggravate the condition or patient so reputation was frequent reputation was frequent or frequent frequent brain you can repeat till the patient's complaints subsides you can repeat it is not one okay. dose, two dose. You you repeat okay. and when it completely disappears, stop repeating. It requires repetition, bryonia. So always keep it in your mind that if you want a penetrating action up to the bony level, never use low potency. Nothing works. Okay. So that's all for today. Just one minute is remaining. So we'll meet again tomorrow with another remedy, the complementary to the Bryonia, the rush talks, and we'll discuss rush talks. The weather is going on rush talk. So it's a wonderful remedy to be learned. We'll learn it from the Allen's keynotes and we'll have a good chat over the rush talks tomorrow. Okay. So thank you for being there. And we'll continue with the same series. Ask your friends to join so that this will this will be helpful for many, many, many students of homeopathy. Sir, uh, in case of um, uh, old age also, we can use uh, uh, 1M, 10M like that? No, it depends. If, if wound is there, for what purpose you are using? That is the question. Wounds, we never okay, use sir. bryonia. Bryonia, we no, use In case of old age, sir. Old. No, sir. In case of old age. In case old of... Age. Old age patient. Old age patient. Yes, but elderly, it depends on how, how is the susceptibility. You have to take into consideration the susceptibility of the patient. If it is good, yes, definitely. If patient is not irritable, oh. can we give bryonia if all other symptoms match? Sure. Definitely. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We'll meet tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.